update. Well, it's been another week. M my name is Ryan Wolf, and I am a co-producer, the director of photography, and a special effects artist for Platoon of Power Squadron. Today, I will be demonstrating how I created Donald's lightning shield effect in another exciting episode of In the Effects Zone with Ryan Wolf. The In today's episode of In the Effects Zone, we're going to be taking a look at Donald's lightning shield. Here's a few clips. <laughs> Terrific! The first thing I needed to do was create a 3D model of the shield. Rather than come up with an original design, I decided to go with a basic Captain America shield look. Pretty much because it's round and it's easy to make in a 3D modeling program. The next step was to insert the model into each shot and move it around so that it approximately matched Donald's arm and wrist movements. There's no real special trick to this part, it just took a lot of time. Once the movement of the shield was in place, the next step was to add a cool lightning-ish texture, texture to give it a kind of lightning-ish look. What is this? What, what, what am I doing? Here? Then I added some lights in the scene to give it some glare and some reflection. And last but not least, the secret ingredient. LK Lightning. Developed by this man, LK Lightning is a really nifty 3D plugin that allows you to create lightning bolts that conform to different 3D shapes and you can manipulate them and have them fly all over the place or have them contained in really small objects and it's really awesome. After many, many hours of international Skype video conferencing, Leo finally taught me how to use this tool and I then applied it to every single shot that had the lightning shield. Thanks for the help, Leo. You are much taller in person than you appear to be on my computer screen. Of course, no special effects shot is complete until you do a whole bunch of compositing and after effects. I like the look of the basic 3D model with the LK lightning, but I wanted to give the uh, barrier a different sort of feel to it. I thought to myself, mm. what would a shield made out of lightning look like in real life? It probably wouldn't be a super stiff, rigid structure it would probably have some wobble to it. So, using a jello mold as inspiration, I gave the shield a wobbly sort of look, and I also added a sort of lens filter effect to the image behind the shield to make it look that the light coming through the shield was sort of being magnified, kind of like a lens. And that's basically it. All we had to do at that point was add some glow to the lightning, some light coming out of the shield, a lens flare effect, some light cast on Donald, light cast on the other characters, light flying on the floors, walls, and ceilings, and shadows cast by the other characters and objects in front of the shield if I didn't already hate my life at that point. It was a tough scene to do, but in the end it was a team effort, and I think me, Jake, and Leo uh, got it done, and I think it looks pretty good. Well, that wraps up another exciting episode of In the Effects Zone with Ryan Wolf. Actually, this is only the first episode and probably the last one ever. So. As always, it's an honor to be part of the crew of Platoon of Power Squadron. I think it's a great show, and I love doing special effects, so hopefully I'll keep doing them. Happy Hanukkah! Yeah. <laughs>